What's up guys, welcome back to another video and it is race weekend. We are back on the mountain bike this weekend and we are racing the Southwest Regional Championships down in Devon and it has been about 10 days now without a race. I was starting to get the shakes, but it's all good now because we're back racing. But most importantly, we are getting to go away in Trisha the Transit, the converted camper van. Are you thrilled, Sarah, to be getting our first night away in the camper? Yes. Oh, I do treat her well. But we're all packed, ready to go. So it's about a three hour drive for us down to the race. We're obviously going down the day before race day tomorrow. Excited to get back on the mountain bike and giving it some beans and going for it. And we have made it. So priority number one was showing the rock at the beach. Well, not showing her, she wanted to show her. She wanted to go there. It's obviously not enough seeing our man race, her, race bikes tomorrow. Um, it's a bit boring for her, so doing my boyfriend bit. But priority number one for me is food. We are by the beach. I think the rocket wants fish and chips. That is top athlete fueling <laughs> for a race tomorrow. Oh boy, and dinner is served with a view over the sea. This is just a couple of athletes getting their pre-race meal in. This is why the rocket is so fast, because she's smashing her fish and chips and of course chicken nuggets for me as well this looks banging race day meals like an athlete it's why the rocket's fast because she's got a battery on her bike <laughs> and i'm slow because i'm eating this before a race here she is trisha the transit in all her glory the passion wagon <laughs> look at this five star hotel for the rocket the neighbours are a bit weird though, they've parked a bit close, haven't they? <laughs> Look at that, what a dream. Sarah, what are your thoughts? Is this the love shack? I'll call it that. <laughs> Morning campers, it is race day. <laughs> How's your night, Rocket? With the other campers, we are just looking at the course. Man's got a grow a pair of balls and go over that jump. Here we go then, picture it now. Camera ladies on. Do you reckon I can clear that up without? For God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Be comfortable for a man of my calibre. Why live on? I'd rather not know it was there, I think, and then just go, wouldn't you? You've got a bit of speed out here. I don't know what made me do it when we came last time but I did and uh, so if I can get over that then they are diesel Dell's done it so <laughs> <laughs> we can all do it me and Sarah are laying in the middle as you go over <laughs> <laughs> action footage <laughs> course inspection for the rocket would you take that jump on Sarah yeah yeah, yeah. all right very big bollocks <laughs> <laughs> camera doesn't do it justice though when you look at it. No, no you stand up, do you want me to go up there? <laughs> this could be a you've been framed mo oh, moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a tricky course, it's techy isn't it? This? It's an old fashioned mountain bike course. This is proper techie and there's going to be a serious climb at some point give us the rocket roundup of the course thoughts i won't be walking the whole way around it to film you <laughs> <laughs> bloody hilly the start is straight uphill Ooh, it's going to be spicy Dell tips uh well just hang on <laughs> <laughs> hang on for dear life practice lap time and on cue I don't know if you can see the rain is here so the rocket's going to be tucked up in the passion wagon and I'm going to go and hopefully be able to ride all them bits. That is practice lap complete, super muddy, technical, bloody a lot of climbing. It's going to be an absolute brute of a race. The rocket's getting warmed up with our hot chocolate. Ooh, that's an athlete right there. But first we're going to watch Ben see how it's actually supposed to be done. And then we can see me do it later, absolute full chop and try and go as fast as I can. But this is going to be a bloody brute. Here they come through the trees. Super fast start for these boys. It's a killer climb up to the top as well. 
absolute savage leaders. Go on, Ben. Up, up. Close that gap quick before the descent. Go on, son. Absolute brute of a start. Come on, Ben. Close the gap, mate. Okay. Keep that. Well done. Look nice and strong. About eight seconds. Good work, champ. You can shut that. Come on, Ben. You can shut that. Get in there. Come on, give it some. Well done, Ben. Come on, then. Strong finish. Last little bit. Here he is, third place, and that was bloody muddy. And um, so Ben's race, two and a half laps. I asked how many I've got to do. Five. <laughs> I'm gonna die. This is death. <laughs> but seriously muddy. Top performance on a brutal course. Right then, it's my time to hang on for dear life. I'm gonna pass you over to the camera lady. Any predictions? Top. 26. <laughs> Top 26. Oh, she's hopeful today. There they come now. So an abrupt end to racing, legs didn't have it on the day unfortunately, and it was a DNF for me. I took a bit of a tumble straight over the handlebars on lap three, and unfortunately it is going to be road to recovery now. So I've broken a bone in my hand, which is a bit annoying, and I was really upset and annoyed about it yesterday because I've been training hard and obviously... You sort of need your hand to ride a bike, but these things happen. I was just coming down a descent. Um, at the bottom, there was it was a really muddy, wet course. There was a rut that had been getting bigger and bigger each day. I just hit it with too much speed and went over the bars and onto the hand. So that last clip you saw was me trying to carry on the race and saying to Sarah, I've hurt my hand, but I couldn't pull the brake lever or hold on to the handlebars. So I'm trying to be optimistic about it and um, not get too like bothered by it. But obviously it is what it is. I'm going to try and keep training. I'm going to obviously have a couple of days rest to let it heal because it's quite sore at the moment. I've got the cast on for, I've got an appointment in two weeks. I'm hoping that's when they take it off, but who knows. But I've got an appointment to see the hand specialist in two weeks. So fingers crossed, that is when it comes off. And we'll be back racing before we know it. But that is sort of season over in a miserable kind of way. But thanks to the Rocket for the footage. It was good fun getting out um, in the camper van as well. And hopefully I'll make a little series now of Road to Recovery. And you're probably going to see me on the turbo quite a lot like a nutter. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.